Hello, it's me again. I've had to set up a different camera. Um, so I will just check that I am live. Um, I will have to play more, um, but hopefully, hopefully I am live. Except it's not coming up as live. Am I live? It says I'm live, but now it's not coming up as live. You've got to love technology. Um, if anyone is there to join, that would be great um, if you would like to join. But I'm not getting my usual email to tell me that I've joined, that I'm live. So that's a little disarming. Uh, right, so let's see if I can delete that one. Because that's not happening. Um, I have no idea why I'm not going live. Like I say, you've got to love technology. Don't want that, I want that. Is anybody there? Let's see what happens if I go to YouTube and look at myself and see if anyone's there. Tumpty tum. I am now live. Oh, and people are watching. Yay, people are watching. Do let me know when you're there. Please, please, pretty please. Morning, Kathy. So this is my second attempt. Um, hello, Helen. My second attempt at sweet, wild and sweet. And sincere apologies for anyone who joined the first time round. I don't know why there isn't a, a notification that I've gone live this time. But hey, uh, so first time round, the camera that goes to my desk decided it wasn't going to. Um, so I've had to use, I've had to change things around a bit. Um, or rather, not the cam that goes to my desk, the cam, well, something went wrong. Um, and along the way, I ended up with no, no picture for the, uh, for the downward facing camera, downward facing dog. Um, hello, Karen. So today we are doing playing with Wild and Sweet. Um, I keep looking at my emails expecting something miraculous to happen to say I'm going live. But hey, here we are. Um, nothing's happening, but we're live. Yay. So I've switched around some settings. I'm going to have to have a play later when we finish this live to sort things out. I don't know what's gone wrong, um, but we're here. So Wild and Sweet, which is this stamp set. Um, so you've got a koala, you've got a panda, and I'm guessing a raccoon. I don't know. Um, so I, without further ado, I'm going to flip the camera down and hopefully there'll be a picture. Uh, yay, there's a picture. Um, and we'll get started. So <laughs> it's nothing quite like throwing me. Hello, Candy. Again, yes. I'm so glad you found me. <sighs> so I'm using the Stamparatus for this because it's a very fine stamp. Um, so I want to make sure that it stamps properly. And for that, I need to be able to stamp it twice if necessary. I've got a piece of Shimmer White card and I've got the Panda lined up. Um, so I'm going to, did I say I'm going to use stays on? I think I said I was going to use stays on. I'm using stays on. Um, and really simple watercolor technique. Um, so ink up my stamp. I have just re-inked my stays on. So I want to make sure that it's reasonably well distributed. Let's see what happens. This is where the elbow comes in. 
So I've deleted the old live for today, the one that went wrong. Um, and this is the only one you'll be able to see. Yes, so this is a bit a bit mottled in the middle. It's definitely darker than it was, so that's good. So it's this bit here that is a bit mottled. <laughs> you watched a dog dance video while you were waiting for me. No, that's still not. Let's get in there. Bit more. Don't think I re-inked that bit. So it stays on is waterproof or does it say waterproof? That's a lot darker. I'm going to turn this piece of paper over and stamp it on the other side because that's too dark for what I want. It's just not pleasant. Down a bit. Down a bit. This is the joy of um, card because you have two sides. So let's see if I can get a solid but not too dark impression. It might be because I've over inked my stays on now. It might just be that I'm not pressing in the right places with my elbow. That's better. That's definitely better. It's just press in the middle of it. So it says it drives within th dries within three to five minutes on porous surfaces. Um, don't inhale or ingest. Um, hands up anyone who would actually eat stays on ink. I think once it's coloured, it's going to be fine. So here is our panda. All stamped in all its full glory. Pop my pop that up on its little rack. Um, so I'm now using, instead of the side camera, I'm now using the face-on integrated laptop camera. Um, thank you for whoever liked the video. Bearing in mind this is the abortive or second take of this, it's still not come up with the fact that I've gone live again. So I, yeah. Anyway, so the really easy water colouring, and I'm just aware that this needs to be fully dry, but this side is definitely nicer than this side. This side is just too black. Um, watercolour pencils. I think we all forget watercolour pencils, and I think we assume that watercolour pencils are for children because they're pencils, or in the UK would probably call them crayons. Um, but they are a really good way to watercolour. So I have got out of the first set um, early espresso, basic grey, basic black and old olive. And out of the second set, this is an optional, I've got balmy blue. So I'll do everything that's first set first. So really easy. All I'm doing is going to add some colour with my watercolour pencils. Now, there are some leaves down here that overlap the bark of the tree. Uh, I didn't notice those the first time I tried this, but this time I know they're there. So I'm going to colour round them loosely but all I'm doing is adding colour to my background. I don't have to be precise at this point because we are going to watercolour and that's why I've used the shimmery white. I do prefer the shimmery white for watercolour where you're stamping, particularly a fine image. Candy loves her watercolour pencils. Yeah I I mean, I've used black is probably the one I've used least. Um, so you can see how much I've used them. These, how long have these been out? Three years now, must be at least three years. This is my first set. Um, I did have a second set that I used when I was doing face-to-face -face classes. So I kept a set that was specifically for face-to-face -face classes because I kept them in my in my class bag. Um, 
bearing in mind that I do use these quite regularly, um, they're lasting really well. I think Daffodil Delight is my shortest Daffodil Delight, or possibly, is that real red? Yeah, um, which makes sense because that's going to be for Christmas. So, right, so that's my brown. Now I'm going to use my old olive and I will make sure that I colour the leaves that overlap the tree first so I know they're there. Sat here waiting for a notification you've gone live. I Yeah, it for some reason, Rachel, and I don't know why, it didn't send a notification. So, yeah, not helpful. Um, at the beginning of this video, for those who are watching the replay, they will get the joys of... Where, 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 am I live? Is anyone there? Am I live? Am I? Am I? Um, so I think people are slowly finding me because we're now up to 10 concurrent viewers and two likes. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's gone wrong with the setup on my software. Um, I have been thinking of changing to a different so uh, software setup. Uh, this may be the moment where I <laughs> try it out. Um, possibly not this week because I've got a lot to do this week. This week I have got to get out, and this is not me moaning. Let's just get get it out there. This is me just letting you know what I'm doing. Uh, so this week I've got my thank you cards and gifts to send out to my April customers, um, who were predominantly called Karen. Hello, Nora. Hello, Judith. No, none of us got a notification. It's really odd. Don't know why. Because uh, I always check that there is a notification because that's how I know I've gone live. Um, so all we've done so far is stamp in stays on with the wild and sweet. It's n I, um, I re-inked my stays on uh, ink pad just before I went live um, the first time. And I don't think I did a very good job. So it's a bit splodgy. Uh, I'm going to have to get the old bone folder out on that. Don't particularly like getting the bone folder out on stays on because stays on stains but anyway um so yes so i'm using watercolor pencils but yeah so i was saying i'm i'm thinking of changing over to a different software which is an online software the one that i've got is an is a direct uh, is a downloaded software morning pam um right black and as I say I think this is going to work with this slightly splodgy image here now that I'm getting the colour on and once I've watercolored, uh, but it's not the best stamped image but the previous version was even worse because that was overdone. so yeah so for those of you who joined yesterday um, I was saying on the first attempt at this video today um, that I'm going to be avoiding using the ink colours for a while so that I can try and retrain myself into pronouncing all of them correctly as opposed to where I got to yesterday which was instead of just the one colour I can't say there are now two. It's frightening really. Anywho, so a bit of black there. Right, and I am going to add some grey because not all of the panda is black. And if he's anything like our black cat, actually not black. I'm so used to working over there for my face, but it's actually there. Um, but yes, our black cat isn't really black. He's more of a coppery brown, really deep coppery brown. So in the sun in particular, as in in the sunshine, not the not particularly uplifting and inspiring newspaper because he's not been in the sun newspaper. Right. So that's that's using the first set of watercolor pencils. At this point, I'm going to bring in. <laughs> Yesterday was mad, Judith. Um, great entertainment value. Absolutely. So I've got one of our water painters. Um, remember, these are the ones that screw and unscrew the wrong way around. So you'd think that way is unscrewing. 
but it's not, it's that way. Oh, that would be lovely, Rachel, to see a panda close up. I just loved this stamp set. So I'm going to start with the um, old olive. This is just an old face cloth. Um, so they come with my cleanser. So I end up with every time I order a cleanser, I order the face cloth as well because it's in effect. Ooh, need to make sure I'm outside the space. Um, it's basically included for free and I do find them very useful for um, this sort of thing where I just want to wipe my brush off and things. And because they're made out of bamboo, they're actually quite useful for this particular panda. Not that he's on bamboo, but you know what I mean. It seemed appropriate to use a bamboo cloth uh, when I'm colouring a panda. So all I'm doing is the, the water painters don't run as much water to the brush as our old aqua painters, which I love actually. So hopefully you can see I've got lots of control over moving the ink around. Uh, so I'm, all I'm really doing is I would call it melting the colour. So it's on there and all I'm doing is melting it so that it can be moved around. Now you could use um, our classic ink for this um, and literally just to pick it up and colour. Uh, but this really is a very quick way of getting and a really easy way of getting a watercolour result. So just drop, so I'm squeezing the barrel to get the water to run clear. So I'm now going to do the tree, which I think will be easier for you to see the result. And I am going to deliberately go off the end because I think that will look more intentional. You know, I like that word intentional. And then just very gently round the leaves so I don't smush those too much and I'll bring this up in a moment so you can see the difference between the before and after you've added the water so this is before you add the water let me just see if I'm in camera and vaguely vaguely so this is before and this is after, and this is a much smoother, it's not brilliantly in focus, but I wonder what happens if I go on to my zoom, because I have a zoom. Oh, there we are. No, that's even worse. Uh, we'll go back to picture in picture. Um, so yes, so all I'm doing is moving the pigment around. Now, if you want to add more in a specific area, all you need to do is just touch your water painter to your pencil and I can get a more intense brown underneath the panda to add as a shadow. So if you were to use watercolour paper for this, um, you would find you'd need a lot more water because the watercolour paper will absorb the water. Surprise, surprise. So I'm literally just scribbling across the image. And because I want some dark at the bottom, I'm just going to pick up more ink to bring it down to the bottom. More ink, more pigment, really. Because it would be darker underneath. This would be in shadow, and again, I'm going to be. I will be doing more around the panda in a moment, but let's get some more here. Morning, Barbara. This would have been a planned live. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Let me start by saying that. Um, this would have been a planned live. In fact, it was a planned live until everything went do lally, and I had to stop and start again because one of my cameras didn't work. So, this is my normal. Tuesday 11 o'clock, which ended up as Tuesday at about 11.30. Um, but yes, it's quite 
fun doing impromptus. Theoretically, and it didn't work for this one for some reason, if you hit the alert bell on YouTube, having subscribed, you should get a notification when I go live. For some reason, um, and it may be because I hadn't edited, no, I did, I put take two, I don't know why, uh, this didn't send an alert. Right, so that's the tree. So now we'll look at the panda itself, and I'm going to start down here and try and get that reasonably intense colour. Now, this is a leg, then there's body, and then there's arm, well, leg. Um, so I'm going to do them separately because this is quite dark. I've got quite a lot of black on here, which is fine because he is a panda. And I'm deliberately stopping at that point because I will go back in and add more. So this I'm going to just move round and I think you'll be able to see, I'll bring it up in a minute, um, you'll be able to see how much difference there is. In fact, let me stop in a moment. Right, I haven't finished yet, but hopefully you can see that this is much more intense and solid, whereas this here isn't yet and this isn't yet. But it's a really easy way and perfect for, I mean, I don't do watercolour, let it be said. I have never been taught how to watercolour, but this is a really easy way of getting the effect of watercolour. Right, so let's clean my brush. So squeeze the barrel and let water run. Let's just, oh, I don't think I put any black there. So let me just pick up a bit of black. Bit more. Come on. And then you can also come in and just add a bit more pigment with your watercolour pencil and then melt that down so you can get a bit more of an intense line where the edge of the leg is. And then I just want to merge that out a little bit so that it's not a solid edge. And then here I put grey. And again, I'm going to bring that up a bit because there would be some shadow. And then clean that off. Let me just bring it in so you can see you're being so quiet. Um, so there's quite a defined line here. Uh, and I'm going to soften that with just a dry brush. I mean, not dry brush, a clean brush. So we can come in and just go over that area, adding more water and just melting that edge. And if it's not giving you and doing that enough, oh, no reason I'm not getting, no, it's not surprising I'm not getting intense black because this is the gray one. So if you want to help smooth that air, that line out, you can add more color. So let's get the black, shall we? I wanted a more defined edge there. There we go. A bit more there. Clean it off again. And then just this I do want grey because it's a shadow, but it's a shadow of his white, the white bit of his body. There we go. And then just a little bit around his face. Bump 
black on his ear, a little bit round his eye, just to give a bit of definition around there. Clean the brush, smooth that out. We want some on his nose because he's going to have a little black nose. Right, so that's basically our chap done. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. Watching intently, are you, Candy? Fair enough. I'm glad you're back, Jenny. It was all a bit odd. Still got a runny nose, however. Right, OK, so this is the optional step. So this is fine. But I want a bit of a, I don't, it looks a bit kind of plonked on the page. Um, so this is balmy blue, which is slightly darker than I would actually call balmy blue. This is probably, it's not as dark as Pacific Point. There is a Pacific Point. Um, but it's, it's more intense than I think of balmy blue as being. So I am ignoring where the tree goes off the edge. So I'm not adding balmy blue anywhere other than where there is a definite line. And it's very, very light pressure. So here's a question, random, very random question, bearing in mind that Mostly, I always have nail varnish on because my nails are appalling. They need this. They need the reinforcement that nail varnish provides. Um, chemotherapy did not do my nails any good, which is quite usual. Um, so, do you prefer pastel neutral shades, or pastel neutral or bright? It's random. <laughs> the the rag dolls are running around again, are they, Jenny? I know they were going a bit mad last night. So yes, neutral pastel, or could you not give her monkeys? And not give her monkeys is a perfectly fine answer. It just it it just fascinates me whether people prefer one thing or the other. I mean, let's face it, when we come to the Jubilee um, celebrations, they will be red, white and blue. So now I'm just coming around to the leaves. So that's where we are so far, whichever makes me smile. Helen says bright. Fair enough. One of my cats is a rag doll. It was the one I showed a picture of yesterday. We In the UK, we tend to call them tortoise shells. Um, but yes, she is a rag doll, mustard. Right, so having coloured, I'm now going to take my... Oh, actually, I want that softer. I'm going to take my water painter and just melt that again so that it gets a soft blurred edge but only where there is a line so not where there's a blend out of the picture. So where there's a line we've got balmy blue and if it's a blurred edge we don't. And I'll 
bring it up in a minute so you can see the difference. I just kind of need to finish a, a run. So I'll finish this run and then I'll show you the difference between this and the bit underneath this branch. So, Lapcat. Very expensive in the US, really. Jenny says she doesn't give a rat. <laughs> and Janice says she doesn't give a monkey. Um, monkeys. Nora likes pastels. Um, so this is with the water painter having blended it out. It doesn't actually show particularly well, but this hasn't yet. Um, but rather than worrying about adding background, you can just, as I say, add a wash around your image. So if I were to do the koala, I would do the same. I'd do blue uh, for the raccoon, if that's what it is. Um, I would probably go, I might go gray, um, but it certainly wouldn't be blue because it's on the ground, if that makes any sense. So that is my finished watercolor. So let me just clean off my brush and turn this into a card. $2,000 for a tortoise shell? Good heavens. Good heavens. Um, I'm, my, my, I'm, I'm, good heavens. Hello, Elfie from, ooh, Ontario. Guelp? Is that Guelp? Guelf? In Canada. Right, so I need to trim this down a bit. I want it to be three and three quarters by five and a half. And at the moment it's four and an eighth. So I'm going to take a little bit off the top. So I want it to be down to there, but I don't want to take all of that off. So I think what I'm going to do is trim that much off the bottom and that much off the top and then lengthwise this is currently about four and a quarter so I can come a little bit there because I want this five and a half five and five, yeah five and a half uh, might take a little bit more off. Actually, I'm going to take another eighth of an inch off. That's better. I'm not putting a sentiment on, but if you wanted to, obviously there's a space here to do that. And then I have got... I've got black and I've got grey and I can't just... One, I'm going to have either a black card with basic grey or a basic grey card with black. So we're either going that way. Randalls. Oh, I've never heard of a Randall. Barbara is going to get... I said it correctly! Yay! Can't pronounce the in colours, but I can say Guelph correctly. Um, right, so it's either going to be that way round or that way round. Any thoughts? Seal by colour male, a blue point female and a red point female. Ooh. <laughs> ah, now, are these ragdoll of a particular breed because I know Burmese you can get 
in that multicolour. And those are expensive. Ours is a Moggy. She's, you know, a Heinz 57 special. So do we think we want black on grey or grey on black? I shall leave that with you for a moment whilst I throw these bits in the bin. Black matte grey card, black on grey. Right, black on grey it is. We have a decision. Black on grey. So, it is a little, this is the failed version. Ragdolls a pedigree. Okay because they look very much like black on grey, black on... Everyone's saying black on grey. Good. Um, this is the was the failed version colour thing. Uh, so, because I've had water on this paper, even though it's only a small amount, I'm going to be more generous with my adhesive than I would normally be. And I'm going to combine my seal, which I'm putting all the way around the outside, with some liquid adhesive. So the seal will make sure that the edges go flat immediately and the liquid adhesive will make that sure that everything then stays where it's meant to be. Burmese absolutely a pedigree. They're really expensive. Some friends of ours have Burmese and they, it's eye-watering how expensive they are. And they have more than one. At one point they had certainly six, may have been eight. Oh, Jan, I've spotted blue sky. We might actually get some blue sky today. And I think it's coming from us to you. You used to own 12 Persians. That's a lot of care, because aren't Persians long-haired? Long I think. Because we've only ever had moggies. We never intended to have cats. I'm actually allergic to cats. Some of you know that already. Uh, so I've had to desent build up and desensitise, become desensitised, I think is what I'm trying to say. Uh, to our cats, but I'm still allergic to any other cat. Um, so yes, we'd never intended to have cats and then one turned up on our doorstep in the middle of winter. Oh, white and greyish. No, ours are... So our tortoise shells are white, black and ginger. Long hair and flat faces, yes. Oh, and Jan's got blue sky as well. Good. So there we are. Simple watercolour. So I hope you enjoyed that, even if it was a little bit, you know, odd. Um, second attempt and all that. Um, if you have enjoyed it, a thumbs up would be amazing. 15 Springer Spaniels. Shaz, you are mad. I mean, I'm sorry, but you're mad. We had a Welsh Springer Spaniel, which is slightly smaller than a standard Springer Spaniel. Uh, just the one. And she ran us ragged because she's just, she was so bouncy. Um, let me pull up, pull up my, it's a lot of Springer Spaniels. Um, let me, let me go to face, what is currently face. Um, so thank you very much. I'm still stunned. Um, thank you, Shaz. Thank you. Thank you, people. Um, so yes, 15 Springer Spaniels, good grief. Um, my mother always used to say that our Welshie would go for a, when my mother went for a one mile, mile walk, our Welshie went for a five mile walk and would put up every bird in the district. Six puppies, plus six puppies. So you've got 21 dogs at the moment. Okay, um, right, on, on that good grief note, uh, I know you are in the middle of kind of the country somewhere. Um, Oh, you're a dog psychologist. OK, OK, that makes a bit more sense. Um, anyway, 
Thank you very much indeed for joining me. I'm sorry it was a little weird. I will try and sort out the software for next time, which will be sometime tomorrow. Um, it will be a random un unscheduled because tomorrow's Wednesday, if my brain is in gear. Um, so thank you very much indeed. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and obviously sharing is even nicer. Uh, if you are anywhere, if you are not currently a Stamping Up demonstrator and like Stamping Up products, may I please encourage you to look at the current Joining Up offer because it's awesome and you get lots of free in-colour products alongside the other bits. Um, Jan is now going to have to get the stamp set. Excellent. Um, so, um, yes, do look at the joining offer, the in-colour joining offer, because it is just jaw-droppingly, awesomely wonderful. Um, so, yeah, <coughs> I've already had one of my customers sign up. I didn't even send her the stuff. She just, well, I sent it to her in a newsletter, but she contacted me and said, uh, can I do this? And I went, yes. So, yay. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. I'm about to have a coughing fit. <coughs> um, I will be back tomorrow, hopefully with a um, software that works properly first time. Um, so thank you very much indeed. I look forward to seeing you. Have a fantastic day. Um, and I will see you again tomorrow, I hope. Bye bye. <laughs>